Philip had, I think, about three placements. Really enjoyed going out to work and meeting people. And Tesco offered him a three-month part-time contract um, at their store in Malden. Well, it's a busy store. Which he obviously did very well because they offered him a full-time contract after that. Not many people have get, got a job. I was lucky getting this one. He's a, been a trolley person since 1991. Uh, working at Tesco enables him to save his money and book his holidays, uh, have his own bank account. Oh, you get pay strips here, you got benefits here, you get shares here. And I'll save them up and go away sometimes with mum, dad. I think everybody deserves a reason to get up in the morning and Philip's got that. Well, how are you getting money when they're getting paid? Well, he's very proud every month when he gets a salary slip. And uh, he still comes to me with it, you know, and presents it. And uh, he's just so proud of it all. Um, he can write his own checks for his holidays or something that he particularly wants. It pays the money, pays your holidays and pays your bills. Well, allowing him to work, I think, um, was a big decision. Um, I've spoken to some friends who have children with learning disabilities who didn't agree with my decision to let Philip work. Um, but, um, he wanted to do more. Philip was capable of more. He wanted to do it, and I encouraged him to do it. That was fun and being, like being busy. Even if it wasn't the best position in the world, he was working, he was independent, he was making his own money. He was out in the world meeting people, and I thought that was really important. Oh, well, that was good fun. You got friends here and... Nice people here. I think a lot of people have difficulty um, understanding that there are uh, different levels of learning disability. And some people are very, very clever at doing <laughs> some jobs. They, the public, unless they've had experience with learning disabilities, don't realise just how competent they can be. I'll go out there and do Big choice, small choice, come in, do baskets. Go back outside, just chuck him every half an hour. You give him a job to do, you show him how to do it, he will do it really well. Yeah, if there's not many bigs, I have to go for bigs. If it's smalls, small, smalls, you've got to go for small ones. I have seen a lot of disabled children held back by their parents because you worry they'll hurt themselves, get lost, um, or be taken advantage of. But you must learn to let go of it. You mustn't wrap your child in cotton wool. Philip really has shown us just what he's capable of, and it's encouraged us really to let him go a little bit and uh, do his own thing. Go and swim in. Timping, bowling, snooker, pool, table tennis, eating out. He's going to be um, having to make his own decisions sometime. Um, so I try not to make up his mind for him. Well, I like it when people who make some decisions for me. It must always be explained uh, if something is necessary, why it's necessary, the difference it's going to make to him. I think. People need um, training to allow people with learning disabilities to decide what they want. As long as, of course, it's not going to be dangerous for them or um, bad for them, they need to be able to make their own decisions. <laughs>